here we are going to take a two plants that is tall female plant and dwarf male plant the pollen grains from dwarf plant we are going to dust it on the tall flower plants that is a cross pollination artificial cross pollination will do you can see phenotype you can see in the picture and the, that is observable trait that and genotype here you can see uh, tall plant is capital T capital E and dwarf small t small t here gametes from the tall plant is capital T and for and dog small t here we get the uh, f1 generation that is first filial generation is a capital t small t that is heterozygous and the parents are the homozygous genotype now selfing we'll do the selfing of this uh, f1 generation then we we'll get after fertilization we'll get the plant that is small t small t you can see and that uh, capital small t and capital t and here you can see the small capital T and small t, capital T and capital T. So now capital T, capital uh, small t, small t and uh, is dwarf and capital T, capital T is a tall plant and capital T, small t is the again tall plant. The chances of offsprings of four types that is two uh, heterozygous and two homozygous that is three types of tall plant and one is the dwarf plant. Here you can see the phenotypic ratio that dwarf is only one and the tall are the three. That is three is to one phenotypic ratio and the genotypic ratio you can see small t small t and the uh, capital T small t there are two and that capital T capital is one that is genotype ratio is one is to two is to one. We just now learn a monohybrid cross